Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Make sure you check out our Patreon page right here below and also follow us on Instagram. We're at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. We've been trying to bring a majesty yacht to the channel for a while and we finally got a chance to show you one. was way too good to chop it up and try to make a one video out of it so it is coming to you as a two-part so after you're done watching this video make sure you check out part two link will be down in the description below the video or right here if you're just watching it for the first time it will be up in a few days all right back to the tour Welcome aboard Majesty 140. Let's do this. So we're starting here at the transom and one of the awesome features of the Majesty Yacht is this transformer slash passerelle lift. <laughs> that transformer lift, yeah. How does it work, Rico? Just explain it to us. So yeah, it's just this platform here just comes up and goes over and it creates at the same time somewhat like a staircase so you can use it as a boarding platform you can use it as a lift for your jet ski bathing platform because you can actually lower it Lowers into the into water, the water yeah. yeah it's a really neat feature of this yacht for sure all right it takes us to the beach club which is uh, organically so just this nice area which is i'm sure it could be done whichever way you want to it's uh, really really sweet. like the furniture here yeah this this is beautiful right there's this little things come out so it's an extra sitting area you see yeah those? yeah yeah there's the little poofs that and go then on its side we have these this massive watertight door here so let me just go a little closer see you have all around the gasket it locks in place when you're underway and it also has an integrated overhead transom rain, shower transom rain shower yeah <laughs> Okay, shall right. we shall we keep going? Let's let's uh, let's go explore. We have another shy tour guide with us. She does not want to be on camera, <laughs> but she's leading us through. Wow, this staircase is so grand, right? Yeah. There's a nice lighting everywhere, all around. So on each side, we've got these balconies that drop down. There's one right set up right here for us. The teak work looks phenomenal, feels phenomenal. Love the tables. Check out this balcony, Rico. What? Got a little drop down balcony. I mean, this is amazing. It immediately makes the yacht feel like it's, a, you know, 160 feet, right? Just yeah. having these balconies. It's yeah, really amazing. nice. And as you can see, there's no threshold. There's nothing. It's completely flush once the balcony is dropped down. Yeah, this, this thing flops up and yeah. then just kind of flashes it together. Very, very well designed. Yeah, it's beautiful. So right. here, here in the cockpit, we have a, a seating for, oh my goodness, I don't know, easily 10? <laughs> I could say like 12, right? Yes. It's absolutely, it's like one of the, definitely the bigger cockpit sittings we've seen the show. I like all the finishes. I'm looking, you're looking at the ceiling panels, all the integrated speakers. I mean, everything is flush and tucked away very clean lines has a very grand super yacht feel immediately as soon as you step up yeah yeah very much so we have this design features on the side and shoe, shoe storage, storage. Yes. there we go that is what i'm always wondering about so that is pretty awesome so there's a really great features to have this like extra love space the but the shoe storage i yeah. love but such a great such a great uh, integrated better design. than having baskets sitting around absolutely. everywhere absolutely all right where are we going next You guys can see how wet it still is in Florida here. Massive, massive windows. Yes. I mean, 
they're huge. They're way taller than I am. All the stainless work looks really nice. Quality really sticks out, right? right. Like you can see right away just the quality of finishes and everything. Even if Got you, a boarding door yeah, right here. Yeah, how that boarding door... Um, and look how tucked away the um, boarding letter is. Nicely tucked away. And there, the receptacles right there. So there's another watertight door here. And then we go up. Wing station! Beep! Beautiful. Beep. <laughs> so yeah, I got a watertight door um, here to the pilot house, yeah. which we're gonna check out from the inside later. And we got a wing station right here with our engine control, thruster controls, MTU controls, and the necessary switches for switching over the stations. And the visibility, guys, look at this. I mean, I can almost see the bow of the boat from here. And then looking aft, pretty much the entire waterline all the way to the stern. What a great position. And again, Rico, negative windows, what we love coming in this way. So I like the negative windows. Yeah, I know. We're... Keeps the pilot house cool. We were like years ahead before this really became a thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, come. On. wow, this is a massive area. Look at the built-in speakers here. Oh, I like it. I mean, all around. Yeah. Right there as well. Really do like the finishes. I like how they incorporated. I mean, it is a working four deck where you have still your David system and jet ski sitting on the bow, but then you also have this nice entertaining area. It's massive. It's a really, really big space. All of the entertaining spaces have some kind of storage underneath. You could see, see right there? Yep. All of them have space, every single one, and there's tons of massive speakers, like four. Yeah, these tables. I mean, what a Right? All this furniture is just stunning. Look at this one. What a nice staircase down. I like how they split that in the middle instead of on the, uh -huh. on the sides. It just gives it that grand feeling if you want to come down here. Well, it also creates, um, you know, the, the, the capability of adding some, some seating on the bow. Yeah, and it's a nice view. Like, kind of when you look down, it doesn't seem like, oh, there's this yeah. whole bunch of stuff. So, so we've got two jet skis here on the foredeck, center uh, located davit system, two big windlass and anchor ground tackle. And then we have our big cleats forward. This cleats for just docking. kill me. Like they're just so massive. <laughs> wow. All right. And of course a bell, which we're not going to ring right now because we don't have any foggy conditions. Oh, come on. Everything looks extremely organized and well laid out. Have a lot more to see. Let's go. Let's go. Of course, another wing station here. We have lost our tour guide. <laughs> I'm sure she's She's coming. probably already up. Oh, no. no, she's right behind us. <laughs> All right, going up. Yeah, we'll follow cool, you. Thank you. All right, so we're going up one deck. So we're going up to the bridge deck, up. Another beautiful space. Dining space here for six and an entertainment bar. Um, wow, this is really pretty. What a great spot. They really kind of knock it out of the park with the seating, right? It's just great much. sitting spaces. I really like it. it. feels very fluent. It just kind of flows through the yacht, you can tell. That's a perfect spot for sundowners, right? Nice, yeah. Obviously the uh, bar stools, you know, swivel around, so whichever yeah. way you're facing. And with this build out here on the aft portion, I mean, you're literally above the swim platform. Nice. So, you, I mean, if you want to just watch the action down in the water, people playing around, you're, you're right here. Yeah, so here we've got a wet bar, drink fridge, storage space here, ice maker. So all the, the usual suspects are here. Everything you need to, uh, to do some bar service and, you know, entertain. So great, great area space here. Okay, go up one deck. I would say to the sun, sun deck. deck? Oh, there is an actual waterfall here. Wow, this is gorgeous. Not a bad spot to hang out. Not a bad spot to hang out at all. This is beautiful. 
I'm just blown away by all the wooden furniture, you guys. Just look at the look at this little side table. All the details of it, the craftsmanship of the really teak nice. woodwork is yeah. just pretty amazing. This is a, not a bad spot for a hot tub. Oh, this is this is gorgeous up here. You've got a massive davit here, right? Yeah, we got a very large hydraulic, 2,200 pounds capacity davit system, so you can bring up your tender or jet skis, whatever you like, and just drop it here. How on the big aftake. of a tender is that, roughly? 2,200 you know? pounds. It's easy, easy 20 foot tender. Wow. Okay, so yeah. like a good center console yeah. tender. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a nice way of doing a service area and stuff. So that's yeah. kind of cool. So they come out and you can service the hot tub. Uh, what else do we have up here on the sun deck? Oh my goodness, what do we not have? I mean, that jacuzzi is just beautiful. So just in case a hot tub is not your thing, you've got a rain shower or okay. you want to rinse off afterwards. Okay. That's pretty fabulous right here. Want me to right turn here. it on? No. Uh, <laughs> and then we have this beautiful sitting area here, which opens which? up to this bar for, you know, seating for five. And this one probably easy s s sitting for 10. Yeah, Maybe for sure. 12. I mean, you put table, chairs around here yep. and look how beautiful. I just can't get over it, you guys. I the just, woodwork, right? Yeah, all the teak is incredible. Woodwork is beautiful and it's kept natural. It's really pretty. So there's basically an um, kind of an outdoor entertainment galley here. This is a real exterior galley. Correct. Yeah, because you've got an actual induction cooktop up here. I would love this. Are you kidding me? Imagine you anchored somewhere gorgeous and you're just like, hey, I'm just gonna make dinner up here. Oh, breakfast. Oh, breakfast, yes, breakfast. Good call, take, good call. Take, taking Sunday brunch to a new level. Good man. <laughs> so we have an induction cooktop, electric griddle, and your sink here. Tons storage. of storage. Tons, tons, like just yep. a lot. And lots of storage up here. It's kind of surprised there's no no fridge, right? Oh, there oh, it no. is. Okay. <laughs> so there's a fridge here and an and, ice maker. An ice maker. Yeah, Everything you need. Yeah. I, I mean, mean a, a proper outdoor, outdoor galley. Kitchen. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow, guys. I know, it doesn't end. So this whole thing is uh, a convertible. So it opens up completely and you have this beautiful open, yeah. open roof. Convertible top. Uh-huh. And keep coming forward. Since we haven't had enough lounging seating area. I love this area. This is, can, can you look at this? I mean, moving, oh wow, look at the woodwork. Look at the teak. It's really, really, really pretty. Looks beautiful. Yeah, and these things are light. And, you know, mentioning earlier, it is quite hot here. This feels amazing up here. There's a breeze. Yeah, the breeze is I fantastic. mean, that's the spot you want to hang out. Uh, drop down TV. So if you want to do movie night up here, that will be the place to do it. Looks extremely comfortable. Just lounging out. Look at the view from up here. Just all the way forward. Yeah, I got to say the, the way the decks are laid out, if you want to see where you're going, what's happening around you, the visibility is amazing. I mean, I'm just looking straight down. I can see the sideline of the boat. There's a tender, tender garage. Amazing. Still integrated spaces here for uh -huh. all the extra storage as well. Um, again, like all of these, you get it, is all storage yeah. on all the decks. So they really thought about it. Anything extra, you know, being able to put pillows away or having some blankets here, like you have tons of room. You don't need to go anywhere. So it's all here. Um, these look like uh, electric pop-up lights. Mm -hmm. So it's probably really just nice when it's all lit up. And Proper cup holders yeah, all around. Integrated lights here as well. So they obviously... Which is, you don't see that often having in a convertible top lights integrated. Yeah, so you've got two convertible tops here, right? So you can basically open up this whole sun deck into like this. If you don't have a lot of sun and just have this kind of a nice cloudy day and it's nice and warm out and you want to have just open a little it up. extra, just open it up. All right. What is this? Let's open the doors. Okay. Huge service area for storage. Oh, well, you can probably outfit it with anything you would like to. Yeah. I mean, but this is just crazy. Wow. Changing room. So big. And then what do we got on the other side? side? Look at the speakers, Rico. Yeah. <laughs> a day head. Nice day hat. Wow. Yeah, very spacious. Love the smell of a new yacht. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it smells amazing. Really, really nice. Just clean, beautiful, clean lines. White, it's pretty. Nice, huh? All right, let's head to the interior and okay. the air condition. I know, right? This has been a hot time here. So we head all the way down. Yep. No, actually, no, we don't. All the way down. One deck down. One deck down and to the interior. Since we're already down here, we didn't point that out earlier. This is going to look really nice at nighttime. It's all integrated LED lighting on the columns. All around, right? All around. All four, all four sides. Yeah, I mean, the speakers, Rico, I mean, just like, yeah. I'm surprised you're not saying They're anything. They're like oversized speakers. I don't know what they are, but... Um, Massive. I can imagine they sound decent. Yeah, I love that they actually don't have any branding on. Everything just looks yep. completely clean. Very are you ready? Clean. Very, yep, absolutely. Shall we check out the interior? Let's go. All right. Wow. So we got the Sky Lounge up here. So pretty. So this is a TV that, um, you know. Oh, it's kind of like mirrored. Yeah, it's mirrored. So when it's on, you can see it. And obviously got when it. it's off, it's just a, a, a tinted yeah, yeah. mirror. But yeah, nice, uh, nice furniture. Like, look, this windows, right? Wow. And this is a Sky Beautiful. Lounge, you guys. This is in the salon. The furniture is blowing me away. I mean, look at... So right. this this is wood. The color of this wood is absolutely beautiful. Look at look at how yeah. this is done. Really pretty. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's just the way it feels. The brown wooden table, which by the way looks really nice. Yeah, it's it's, it's asymmetrical. It's the contemporary modern style. It's it's really I mean the LED lighting again everywhere is yep. absolutely stunning. So we have a full surface bar here, which is separated. Uh-huh. Oh hello. <sighs> Just well, it's actually like a like a second oh. galley. Yeah, again, it's a proper galley here. Uh, well, I guess you've got also the dining area there. So if you yeah. want to make some some uh, some snacks and tapas and um, sundowners, this would be a good good space. We have a wine cooler, a good size wine cooler here, and mm -hmm. well, I've just. Everything is perfectly set up for bottles and Bottle stuff. Storage. So, yeah, nothing is you know nothing is going anywhere here. We've got an ice maker here as well. Mm -hmm. Big size ice maker. So extra storage on the side. Yeah. I think the way it closes. Very nice and quiet. And then we keep going here. Stemware. Um, yeah, there's stemware. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. And sink storage. There's uh, another Millie two burner. And a bunch of storage here, and this looks like somewhat of a pantry here. Oh no, it's a fridge. Fridge and freezer. Yeah, freezer, built in. So again, proper galley. Full, full galley. Really cool. There's also storage here as well, that, um, some shelves here. And also this wood, that wood is talking to this one because it's the same and then integrated with a different color on this side. Okay, lots more to see. And we have touch screens all throughout the boat where you can pretty much pull up anything. Your TV, audiovisual controls, your cameras, nav chats. There's a pocket door here for privacy to separate this area as well. So this is more like a little bit of a working area, I guess. Okay, wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Check out the lights. Oh, it's already on. They were dark and they just all slowly came on. It was so nice. Got a nice die head here for, Sky Lounge? for this deck. Yeah, look at, the, look at the size of this day head. Beautiful. Yeah, just the, oh, this thing finishes, you guys, it's gorgeous. The wood, the doors. Also really like the, the, the bright floor mm -hmm. and it's it's grippy, it's not slippery at all. Yeah. It feels super, really safe. Super nice. So that there's a staircase heading down and then we're coming into the Check bridge. Check it out later. So oh, got, we got all our audio visual control, uh, audio visual rack here. Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> this is like Rico, Rico and nerd space, right? Yeah. You would love that. There's more. And since one size wasn't enough, there's a second one. One side? One side. <laughs> it's behind here. Coming in? All right. Just storage. Yeah, nice storage areas. On this side, there's a work 
space table right here and then we're coming around to the bridge welcome to the bridge of the <sighs> majesty 140. that is quite a dominant captain's chair here yeah it's like i'm the captain now <laughs> <laughs> it's it's cool. uh it's pretty awesome it's just like the only chair who wouldn't want to run this boat guys the visibility is absolutely brilliant it is a fantastic layout all right bridge all our necessary instruments we have multiple vhf radios to monitor different frequencies obviously sonar mtu engine monitors chart plotters i mean you have multifunction displays you can pull up whatever you want to pull up we got our um, surveillance cameras on this one chart plotter on this one or radar on this one which is on standby and our engine controls right here our know, thruster control here God, that chair, look at that chair. <laughs> yeah, I'm, guys... I'm, I'm okay back here. Thanks, thanks for, uh, for worrying about me. Oh, and again, look at this here. Staying the steel around, Building polished. cup holders, yeah. The way this goes all the way around. Amazing. And uh, those, I think, are a bunch of your panels as well there. Yeah. Check that out. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. So we've got an emergency panel right there. 24 volt panel right there and um, fire extinguisher yeah, right there. With all your flares and everything. And didn't point that out before, but here we have our whole yacht management system. You can pretty much pull up anything or you want to know what your tank levels are and so on. Everything is like really nicely laid out, right? Yeah, yeah. It just seems very organized. So this is a VIP. No, I'm just kidding. This is captain's quarters, you guys. I want to be a captain on Not this boat. Not too bad, huh? This is a gorgeous stateroom. Lots of storage space, first Lots. of all. Can hang your uniforms or your polo shirt, whatever is required of you. What a gorgeous space. Nice little desk area for, you know, just doing something after hours. Super um, nice. It, it even says captain on the screen. It does? Oh, nice. <laughs> Just in case you forgot. All okay. right. Another closet space here with a safe. Storage here. There's all of your... Um, Documentation for, yeah. the, for the boat and so on. Yeah. Great space. And ensuite hat, which is pretty amazing. Coming in. Really good size. Very bright. Check out this shower. This is one of the best um, captain yeah. captain cabins on a hundred and hundred and forty foot yacht we've seen, right? And, and and immediately connected to the pilot house. I mean that's not that unusual, that's but just the, unusual, the yeah. size and the layout and the way it feels—it's yeah, yeah. so high end. It really looks like a beautiful like totally. stateroom. That was captain's cabin, you guys. What do you think the master is going to look like? So we're going down here. Oh, look how the light just comes on. The lights are all censored, so they're all, all on sensors and they come on. Storage here. Oh, nice staircase, right? Going down to the main deck. This completes the part one of our tour. Click the link in the description below the video to check out part two. If you are interested in purchasing a Majesty Yacht, all the contact information will be in the description below the video as well. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we're so grateful for your guys' like and comments, shares, and subscriptions. Please make sure you subscribe. A lot of you are leaving comments saying, oh my God, I thought I was subscribing and I wasn't. So make sure you hit that subscription button and also turn on notifications so you never miss a new tour. Enjoy the outtakes. So we follow you, right? And you don't want to be on camera. No, no, okay. No, I'm good. We got another shy, shy tour guide. We had one <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> No, 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 it's no, perfect. No, no, no. If it's you good. want to, we can walk through, walk you through offline first, and then. No, that's know. that's. I will love discovering. That's yeah, kind exactly. of. Yeah, so, exactly. I usually prefer not to. Sometimes okay. he does it before just to know where we're going, okay. but like that's our style. But if we have someone who's walking with us, then, yeah, yeah, then that's no, it's perfectly perfect. fine. Yeah. Is it okay? So, so just certain things I'll ask you, like let me know if I shouldn't open something. But well, ours is very work. casual, so that's. I have a different style of walkthrough. Nice helicopters. 
Woo! Oh wow. It's a yeah. comfy chair. Very comfortable. This is the Rico finally got in a chair. He's usually reluctant, but this one he just jumped right in. <laughs> so we're gonna go up. Oh no, wait. Should what? we go? Yeah. Oh go, no, we're go, going go all around. around. That's right, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Perfect. I really like the um, colors of the choices of color. Yeah, the the, the finishes. color choices. <laughs> it's not too modern, but it still has a little bit of the contemporary feel, it's and it's it's pretty modern. <laughs> really, I don't think it's too modern. I think it's pretty modern. 